Hello, and welcome to my review of Why the Movie, also known as Cabin Fever 2. There's a big change for Cabin Fever 2 versus the first one, being that Eli who faced Roth wasn't involved. And since Idiot Gorefests are pretty much Eli Roth's calling card, what is Cabin Fever without him? Nothing. There was nothing else to Cabin Fever than that. So Cabin Fever 2 is... Nothing! Review done? Oh, I seriously wish, but let's go over the stupid thing. So Friend Meets World wakes up in the river, because instead of burning him like the rest of the bodies, Party Cop decided leaving him the river was the best idea, since even he didn't plan on this much a needed sequel. So you're probably wondering why he's still alive. Well, he is pretty dead at the end of the last movie, so I guess it's because a new movie stirred that he's alive again, because that makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe this will explain it. He gets hit by a bus and pops like a big blood balloon. Okay, so that didn't explain it, and the movie's not going to, but there is a real-life explanation for it. They wanted to fool people into thinking Ryder Strong starred in this one too, so despite the fact he never even says a word before dying, he gets top billing for this stupid crap. <laughs> oh, good! Party Cop is back! I don't know how to express how happy I am about that! Fuck! Party Cop is also amazing at growing his hair in just a few supposed days. I didn't see anything! Yeah, he came out of nowhere! He just hit a moose. Stupid, but at least he isn't saying... He's partying with my cousin. So in case you forgot there have been a ton of bodies in the water infecting it, which is also what they throw into the bottles and everyone drinks around here, they give us a really subtle animation showing the blood red water being shipped out in case we really didn't get it. It's not really red in live action though, I guess that would have been too much. Andy Taylor's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, not my type. Does that mean you're gay? Did, did you tell your dad? Yes, they made the main characters jackasses again. I bet you were worried. I sure was. So blah 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 blah, high school melodrama bullshit, I don't care! There's no way that she's gonna go with me just days after breaking up with him. If she broke up with him, it's cause she finally realized how big of a fucking douchebag the guy is. And here's the big bad axe! Don't say a word. Man, is he ever intimidating. Look, man. Get your hands off me. Seriously, the slightest touch may give me a serious bruise. So John jumps into class. Oh wait, no, the bullies are on me. <laughs> Look, even the actor can't keep a straight face for this. Why would you go and do something so stupid? Like start a fight. I didn't start it. Mm -hmm. There's really no hope when a scene this pointless makes it to the final cut. So in biology, they are wearing goggles as they watch a film for some reason. Oh, they're also dissecting, so it makes sense. I don't know why you wouldn't want to try and use sharp knives and make accurate cuts in low light. Oh, it was supposed to be funny. Then the plot starts. Alex rips down a banner and the janitor is pissed. You little shit. I wouldn't really call him little. I got dumped. Anybody that would do that to you is a fool. Really? So that equals blowjob in the bathroom, after which she's apparently done with him. Are you gonna prom together or? No. So he got used by getting his cock sucked? Seems a little backwards. Would you please go to, go to prom with me? If I can get one of the other girls to cover my shift, maybe I'll meet you there. How are you gonna pass up Bride of the Cannibals 2, the director's cut for a gay dance? 
Well, I imagine it's better than Cabin Fever 2. Yeah, blah, 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 nothing's going on. Cast the girl John likes gets him to walk her home. Oh my god, I heard like Dan scored like 1500 on his SAT. Oh, 1550. What? Yeah. No way, how old is that kid? Like 12. We should see when he and Alex get together. Aww. Alex, I haven't talked to him like forever. It's so weird. How is he? Still Alex. Yeah. Okay, so you're not gonna prom? No. Yeah. Me neither. Hey, do you want to go to prom with me? I can't, John. Look, if you're worried about me like getting beat up or anything, don't worry about it. I don't know how she could refuse after that. No, no, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, no one should be. Here's your pancakes, sweetie. Oh, Lucille. I've been dreaming about your pancakes all day. Ah, it finally makes sense. Pancakes! Pancakes! No pancakes. Pancakes! Oh, wait, no. No, it still doesn't. So a guy working for the Spring Water Company starts dying, and for some reason, this woman starts performing an exorcism. Deliver us from all of this evilness! Mother of the devil, I know you did it! Oh, they must be trying to out-stupid the damn pancakes scene. Shut up! It's not funny! It's just fucking stupid! Alex is infected, but he glues his fingernail back on so it's cool. And then... No movie. I don't care how many Japanese flags you put behind him, I'm not buying it. So Party Cop goes and sees Frank from 30 Rock. She said she was 18. I always believe what children say. Nah, yeah, seriously, I don't think he realized or they told him he was doing something else. And these two are flirting with each other when... Ungrateful little shits. He'll never forget that banner and now blames the world for it. So he pisses in the punch until his dick bleeds. But the weirdest part is his blood piss was carbonated. So these two try to pool sex, but she starts blooding it up, so... Uh, yeah, buddy, that'll work. This is it, motherfucker. Two men going to prom together. It's exactly as it should be. So Party Cop and Frank start to party until some more people come. You gotta tell these motherfuckers that the water coming out of here is bad news. Why do I gotta tell them? Well, because this happens. Water here is bullshit. <laughs> He knew when the party was over, his party sense saved him again. I'm gonna go get some fun! Do you want some more? Nah, no, it tastes like someone pissed in it. I'm gonna lower my standards. Guess who? Cassie? It's me! Cassie! Ah! Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, John. Oh, I'm so stupid that I thought you'd like that I came with Wimp Jock after you asked me. So the audience can obviously see what a great catch I am! Are you trying to be an asshole? I told you to stay away from her, but you couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? How dare we walk up to you and start talking to you? Movie, just hurry up and get to the dying. You can't handle anything else. We get it already. Oh, and the Surgeon Pancake Bunny is here, too. <laughs> what do you want? I'm just sorry. Oh, you're sorry? You're sorry for what? You're sorry that I get blamed for everything? You're sorry that your boyfriend's a fucking asshole? Or are you sorry that you're too stupid to tell the difference? Is that it? John! Fuck! You! How you cannot like me, someone you've known for your entire life! Someone who would treat you like an absolute queen! Clearly. Stop! Get inside, now! We aren't just shooting you right now because... Do you actually think they aren't gonna just shoot everyone else at the school? Well, they send the principal off to see what's going on and how much you wanna bet he'll get a bullet in the head. <laughs> Sorry, the character just wasn't important enough. And that's the cue for the random infection to start affecting everyone! Oh, and for more nonsense, Cassie goes to the bathroom alone when... I have a baby. So, Party Cop meets up with that guy from American Movie and they blow town. Where are we headed?
<laughs> oh, it's bad when the movie knows he doesn't even have to say it anymore. My, my legs! Hey, climb down! I made it! Please, please help me! Please! Please help me! You are all weirdos! You know I can't leave him. You know that. Let's just go and get him then. I'm trying to be dramatic! Don't be irrational about it! Hey, hey John, have you seen my dick? Anyway, Alex dies, and John is infected, and who cares? Party cop and American cousin get through a barricade when he drops the people's elbow on Buddy, KOing him. Okay, it makes sense for him to want to cut that arm off, but she just got a nice blast of blood in her face, which will probably infect her. <laughs> Smart! So they have a really gross kiss when Big Bad Bully shows up again and starts sharing his feelings. What about my feelings? I fucking loved you! Oh no, John falls over and they swarm him. They didn't shoot him though, so they'll probably just throw him in the river. And Cassie runs into Party Cop, and since she's covered in blood, they obviously let her in. So, movie over, right? Nope. We need to see what happened to that girl who infected Alex's cock, right? No. No, she doesn't. So this goes on way too long, and she pukes on some guy, and it goes back into an animation showing the infection spreading. Cabin Fever is a pretty damn stupid movie, but I get it. It's an idiot gore fest, but Cabin Fever 2? What the hell is the point? We get the extremely tired high school story that no one cares about, a follow-up to a one-note character we never needed a follow-up to, and then in the last 20 minutes, people finally start dying. Cabin Fever 2 has no right to exist, and you know what? I'd rather not exist than watch this stupid bore fest again. And oh, would you look at that. I'm conveniently phasing out of existence. And you know what? I'm really good with that. I really am. I don't want to be in a universe where this movie was made. So... Goodbye, and I'll see you guys on the next I don't like this movie, he doesn't look too friendly. These monsters seem so fake. My nerves are gonna break. Failures don't let me down. You need to be around. Grab the running one up and blast that single new one. I think it's movie. I look shit. They say if they find the right director, Cabin Fever 3 will get the green light. <laughs>